Hi, I'm Tammy Ayat. I'm here from the Nutrition Education Department of the Food and Nutrition Division of Pinellas County Schools. And we're at Bay Vista Elementary today. Here at Bay Vista, they have started a pollinator garden. All right, you can go look in this garden over here. <laughs> this is our butterfly garden for kindergarten. And how we got started in kindergarten, we talk about the life cycle of the butterfly. And so we would always have milkweed left over from that. So we planted it and the children loved it. We see a caterpillar. You do? Oh, yes, Tell me where it is. And a lot of times they'll notice butterfly or caterpillars in here before I do. So, and that's just okay. such an important part of science to learn how to observe things and enjoy it. I see one. There is a woman. That's the orange one, and it's going to turn into a, a butterfly that's Christmas. So we're using all Florida natives here at this site. It's really important for the children. We do, our entire program is based on a garden to cafeteria philosophy. However, it's important for the students to understand how, how do we get our, how do we grow our food? Pollinators equal food equal life. So this is a great example for these students to understand how plants grow. So whereas we have some plants are for caterpillars, and then we have the flowers, which are good for the um, butterflies and the bees, which are you know our pollinators. It says butterfly garden. Well, I like them to learn, of course, the life cycle of the butterfly, which they they do, and then but I also want them to learn you have to have butterfly food if you want people to uh, protect the environment, you have to get them to love nature first. And so when the children do this, they love it. What are these? Right. Right. I, I saw a bug right there. There's so many bugs on it. What are those? The little tiny yellow spider. So some of your plants do look kind of eaten up, but that's still, you're providing food and they may, um, they can see that the plants are getting eaten, but it doesn't kill the plants. Ahmed, do you want to come water some plants? They also help take care of the garden. They, you know, water it. They're doing a little weeding. We plan to expand our garden and put a, a walkway here, like a, a path for the children. And then it's going to come around here We'll expand the butterfly garden a little bit, but then we're also going to plant some trees, like an avocado tree. And the children can see that you do need to have the pollinators for other things, like for um, different kinds of uh, like vegetables and fruits and things like that. So those will be over in this area. So it's really making nice use of a space for the kids.